this is Brian Darr with Valientis, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Outlook for the web and Jira to increase productivity. Let's get started. So first, why would we want to connect Jira and Outlook? Well, uh, number one, you'll be able to reduce context switching when processing email. You'll be able to move information to the source of truth in Jira from your email, and you'll impress your coworkers with your efficiency. Uh, what I'm going to show you today uh, will be how to view JIRA information from within Outlook, how to create JIRA items directly from Outlook, and how to attach emails to existing JIRA work items as comments or as attachments. So let's get started. Uh, the very first thing you need to do is install the JIRA Cloud for Outlook official Outlook app in Outlook. So if we come to your email and if you click on More Apps, and add apps. And then search for Jira. And then you'll see Jira Cloud for Outlook official. Click on that, add it, and wait. And then you'll get this uh, getting started bit, bit of information. Next, you want to open an email and pin the app for easy access. In this case, I already have it pinned here, but if you don't, you can always click on apps. And if you right click here, you can pin, and then that'll make sure that it shows up here in the email menu bar for easy context. The first time you use the app, you will need to connect it to your JIRA instance. So here we are, step number three. When you do this, you can actually connect it to more than one JIRA instance, which is quite helpful. But for this demo, we're just going to do one. So I'm just going to click on View Issues, and it's going to ask me to connect now. So I'm going to click Connect. And what you don't see, this will open a new window, and we're going to choose the, um, the site that we want to connect. And we're going to accept. Once you're all connected, you'll be able to use the app to view work items, create work items, or send work items to Jira. Let's look at the view work items, currently called issues, first. So if I have a URL in this email, I can click view issues, and later it'll be work items, and it will show me information about this. And um, you know, it, it'll show the status, the assignee, the priority, and the issue key and the summary. If I want to make a new work item, I can click on create work item and I can choose the project, the issue type, uh, test from Outlook. I can add a description, I can add a parent, I can add a reporter, and I can choose all of the other fields that are on the create screen for that project, which is, I think, very helpful. And at the bottom, I can choose to include this email as an attachment. So if I click create, And then if I hop into that, you'll see that newly created work item here. And then you'll see this attached email section. And um, we'll see this email containing a Jira issue. I, I actually created this email about a month ago. It's been a long time since I wanted to make this video. Uh, and if I click on that, it will show me that information uh, in here. Lastly, we can send existing information to a work item. So for example, if I have this email containing work details that I should add to JIRA, I can come again here and I can say send to issue. And I can send it in two ways. Uh, for, first, I have to choose the issue. So let's uh, choose the recent test from Outlook. Uh, I can either include the email or I can add a comment um, and send information there. And I can also paste the email contents into that comment as well. So depending on how you want to attach it, that's up to you. And there you are. That's how you can uh, reduce context switching, get more information back into the source of truth in JIRA, and impress your coworkers by connecting Outlook and JIRA. Thank you so much for watching. Please reach out if you have any. Have a good day.